Hey guys, it's Dino. Um, I am. This this video is only going to be about Testapel and my experiences with it so far, uh, in attempts to keep that separate from my whole big update video. Um, because I know that there are some folks who are just interested in knowing about Testapel and I kind of want to have that separate, so I'm going to try to have that separate for now on. Uh, I may talk about my Testapel experiences in a little tiny bit in my in my big video, but this is more of a more extended and and thorough and, and thought out uh, update on just test the bell itself. So the overall healing process from start to finish took about a week and a half. Um, and that was that was pretty much from when I got the the procedure done to when I didn't feel any more pain. But I was biking in less than a week and I was driving within like three or four days. Um, you, I mean, you could drive like right afterwards, but I don't have regular, regular access to a car, so, you know, it's, it's, yeah, I mean, I was just driving my mom's car because she wanted me to drive for a bit, so, yeah, um, you can, just, it's really about, like, your own personal comfort levels, like, it was just a really dull pain, it wasn't, wasn't that horrible of pain, just kind of annoying, I don't know, it's just like, it's something that's, something that's constantly bothering you for a while, it does get kind of annoying, and you do get kind of sick of it, but, you know, it does go away, and it only took a week and a half to heal, so it's not that bad. The area was just like a was just like a, a swollen bruise at first. Like you couldn't really feel the individual pellets, so it was just like that. That pretty much the bruise itself was pretty much where all the the pain was coming from, um, and it was only escalated like a bruise was when you applied pressure to it. So uh, you know, like sitting and and like laying down if you put pressure on your butt kind of hurt a lot but I mean like if I noticed a lot less pain if I was laying down like with all my weight um on like a bed or something uh versus when I was sitting on a, like a like a soft surface with all the pressure on my butt it didn't hurt as much when the when the weight was distributed over so if you guys want to lay down in attempts to lessen the pain then go for it um what are some over-the-counter painkillers you know but it really wasn't that bad, you know, you can you can deal with it, it's not like a horrible thing. So right now I can only feel the individual pellets if I like try to touch them. I can't feel them sitting down or anything, like it's, it's, I, I can't feel it, it's it's not bad. Like if you like, look for them you can feel them, but like it's, it doesn't hurt at all, I don't notice them, it's not a big deal. Like it's, I, I don't have any complaints about it. In terms of like what my emotional changes have been, I have noticed some. Initially I was like tired for a while and I wasn't having like as much energy and I was just like really sleepy. But I don't really know if that was because I was dealing with some personal issues or like with like stress related or if it was just that my body was adjusting to lower T levels because it's um it's a more steady it's a more steady release of hormones versus like spikes um of giving a shot every week. Um so I don't really know if my body was adjusting to that or whatever, but it's just something to kinda like keep in mind. I don't know, it wasn't a big deal, and it's gone now, or my body's adjusted to it, so. I'm a lot more calm and a lot more stable. I don't have as many, uh, mood swings, I guess. Like, I don't get, like, as up and down as I, as I was, uh, on shots. Uh, maybe I'm just not noticing it, maybe it's also, you know, other personal stuff, but, um, yeah, I'm a lot more calm and a lot more stable. Uh, I mean, I was pretty stable on, uh, on shots in, like, in other ways, um, from, you know, a lot more stable than it was, uh, you know, pre-T, but, uh, I feel like I'm a lot more stable now. My sex drive is actually a lot less crazy. I mean, I still have one, it's going strong, but it's not as, like, constant and, and get a boner at, like, at, like, the blow of the wind or anything. Like, it's, it's probably, you know, it's, it's if I think a little bit more about something, then yes, I'll get aroused, but it's not like I will look at a doorknob and get a constant boner. It doesn't, not not doesn't doesn't do that. Yeah, I don't know. I I just I think that I'm just overall a lot more calm and a lot more stable. And there's since there's a lot less less spikes, not as many spikes in terms of um, releases of hormones. I think that I am pretty good. Um, I don't I don't have any discomfort. Uh, I just want to give you guys a heads up that if you want to be extra cautious with with your healing process. Um, go for it. I just like to, to take no risks in terms of like um, health wise. You know, I'm sure I was just being like more extra cautious about like just keeping a bandit on everything. And you know, I just advise just being careful with it if you want to be extra cautious. Um, but I mean, like I think I would, I think you should be fine if you just do do your own thing. But just be mindful of it. So yeah, that's my update for Test Spell. And if I have any more news about 
that, then I'll let you guys know. Feel free to ask me any questions about it. Um, I, yeah, I actually just started a transition blog on Tumblr, um, aside from my personal Tumblr, um, for folks who are looking for for uh, text documentation of my transition and the stuff that I might not put in videos, um, like everyday stuff, um, versus like one big like journal entry of a video um, every million years because I don't get to make videos a lot. So I'll put the link to my transition blog in the description and also I'll put the link to the uh, whole big update video that I'm making with this one too, also in the description. So that's it, and I hope you guys have a great day, and feel free to ask me any questions if you have any. Alright, cool. Bye.